Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. How are we all? So good to see you here. Ah, oh, there you all are. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> oh, absolutely fabulous. All right, I'm just getting everything set up. Welcome, 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 welcome to our second masterclass where we're unlocking the secrets of reality creation. Welcome to everyone on Facebook. Welcome to everyone in the Zoom room. Welcome to everybody on, on the replay. Would love to know, were you here live yesterday or did you catch the replay already? Let me know in the chat and in, in the comments. And I would love to know what insights do you have so far from our first masterclass. I know that the Facebook group has been really active with lots of insights and aha. So we'd love to gather your thoughts here. What has come into your awareness? Do share in the in the comments and in the in the chat. And I would love to witness some celebrations as well. And th these, of course, can be part of the the awareness. These inner shifts. These the inner shifts happen before we have the outer shifts, of course. So today we are going to be diving into unlocking the secrets of reality creation and we're going to cover the principles of reality creation and the three secrets in unlocking reality creation and then how we can unlock the subconscious mind to reveal hidden resistances and we're going to be doing the helix method manifesting ritual together as part of this and we'll be unlocking the subconscious and revealing some some hidden blocks and building the momentum around breaking through the money ceiling does that sound good and then tomorrow we will be back with our third masterclass where we're going to be channeling higher realms of consciousness and we're going to be doing an akashic records activation together so so excited for today and tomorrow and then tomorrow, if it's um, at the end, if it's uh, aligned for you, I would love to invite you to continue your journey with us. And I'll share the different ways that you can you can continue with us for that, you know, if, if the next steps are right for you. And we have um, an opportunity for your names to go into a prize draw. So thank you to everyone who has been sharing and tagging us in your shares and all your names are going to go into our draw. And for those of you that are live to, to, with me today, your names are going to go into a draw. So what we're going to do is at the end of our time together today, I'm going to do a, a surprise draw um, for somebody. So we will you'll need to be on live at the end of our time together because it will gather the names pop um sign a, a number to your name pop your pop it into our drawer and you will be in with a chance of winning our heal time in the akashic records this is our two-hour timeless portal where we activated the healing with your relationship with space time super powerful um and so you'll be able to receive that and tune into that as um as and when you desire so so excited to see who's gonna who's gonna win this this is awesome Please do keep sharing. It's so inspiring seeing everybody sharing that you're taking part in this. And, and do tag me so that we know that you've done it, because then every time we see a share, we'll pop your name into a drawer as well. So you're invited to you know, take screenshots, boomerangs of our masterclass, share on Instagram and Facebook, share your takeaways, share your up leveling. This is really inspiring, particularly if you're a leader and you have your own community and, and clients as well. It's great for them to see that you're up leveling um, and, and you know, investing in yourself, too. You can just say, you know, I'm taking part in the Breakthrough in the Money Ceiling Masterclass with Louisa Havers. And my biggest takeaway is, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever it is. Um, and then hashtag the Helix Method. And uh, then we'll be able to come and find you and go, oh, pop, we'll pop your name into the door. OK, so I hope that will make sense. So, so excited to be doing this together. So I'm going to just invite you just to take a moment to become fully present so we can set our intentions. So just to gift yourself a couple of letting go breaths. And just intentionally bring all of your energy to this now moment. And just to remind yourself and consider what's your intention for being on this masterclass this week, whether you're live or on the replay. I know everyone's joining from all around the world. And as you consider your intention for this week, how is it contributing to your intention for your month, for your life?
this week is contributing to your overall evolution to living at your highest potential. And in this now moment, just inviting you to become aware of any emotions that you're feeling in your body right now. Are you noticing any contractions? Just become aware of it, be in the allowance of it. And then just to do a bit of a pulse check and on a scale of one to 10, how expansive and aligned to your intentions are you feeling right now? Just take a moment to become aware and pop it in the comments or in the chat. Notice the comparison between today and yesterday. And how do you want to feel at the end of our time together? It is my intention that you have a breakthrough, that you calibrate to a higher frequency so you can start to manifest with more ease and you can do it without a healing crisis. And they simulate the calibration with ease and that more surprise money comes in. All righty, this is so great seeing all your comments. And I will go back if I haven't um, commented on your comment, know that I'm seeing them. Um, I will just be keeping the flow flowing. But please do, you know, share, share in the comments. Use the comments and the chat a little bit like you're making notes for yourself so that you've got that record and embodiment as you're um, taking in what we're the conversation that we're having and witnessing each other and, and their comments as well so beautiful Alrighty. so before we unlock the secrets of reality creation we need to understand the the reality creation principles and there are six reality cre creation principles i'll invite you to think of these as truths that underpin the keys to up leveling your money consciousness and bringing yourself into resonance with your next level of money and wealth and we'll have visual recaps of these. So these are things that I'm about to share. So you don't have to scribble them all down. You can screenshot them when they pop up after our, our time together. I love it. So we've got some higher, higher vibes from comparison to yesterday. Awesome, awesome. This is so good. Okay, so the first principle, principle number one, everything is energy including your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. And these all form part of your identity and your human Wi-Fi. So that vibration you're sending out to the universe. The second principle is energy follows our attention. So our attention becomes your intention. That's really powerful. What is getting your attention? Because you're manifesting with it. So notice what you're paying attention to. The energy follows intention. So this is where we want to be so intentional. It's key to be intentional. Being intentional is a is a superpower. And then principle number three, your subconscious will work really hard to prove itself right and to keep you in alignment with your identity and default set points. And your beliefs are hidden in plain sight in your experience of your reality. They're literally mirrored back to you. Trick is going, <laughs> which belief is creating this reality right now? <laughs> I need to find it. So principle number four, to create a different reality, you must create the identity of the you who already has this and then and to embody it. So you're sending out a coherent vibration. Principle number five is creating alignment with your higher self, your subconscious and your conscious mind. And this brings you into resonance with what you desire so much more quickly. You'll receive inspired actions and you get to act on these and then to take the aligned action. That's absolutely key. I re remember there was a post in the in the group um, from yesterday saying about that insight and, uh, you know, when we're taking action, the universe responds. And when you create from higher planes, you're able to be non-attached to the outcome. When you're attached to the outcome, you're actually creating from a lower plane of consciousness from the astral plane. It's a slower vibration. There's loads of ego there and it requires more mental effort to manifest this is why co-creating with your higher self-consciousness is so magical and then principle six you'll receive what your subconscious feels safe to receive which means your capacity to receive can always be expanded and i talk a, a lot about soothing the nervous system so you feel safe about allowing more in you're not triggering a um, you know a, a contraction as you're expanding and I live by these principles and I found it so empowering to really understand this. 
So know that there'll be some visual recaps after our live together so that we've got those principles laid out for you. If you want to make a note of them, you can screenshot those. And whilst there's a lot going on in our energy field and in our consciousness, when you get when you use these principles and our, and our manifesting ritual, and I really want you to get this, you can break through the money ceiling with more ease when you have a method that you can easily use to create that consistency for embodying your identity for the next level. Remember, we've got the breakthrough and then we have the up level. And we, we do this when we are embodied in the identity of, of this next level. If you recall our analogy of up leveling, it's like taking a first class flight to a new destination and to be an energetic match. So to show that we're in the right place when we're on the plane, we're asked for our passport and our ticket on the flight. And that's so that as we board the plane, we're allowed to go left and go into first class. And we, they know that we're in the right place. We know we're in the right place. We found the right seat. The cabin crew greet us personally. They say hello. They say welcome. They give you a nice glass of champagne. They take you to your beautiful, spacious seat. You have a nice cashmere blanket and spacious leg room. And you just sit down and you know you're meant to be there. You feel really comfortable being there. It's like, of course, I'm here. This is my seat. I've got the ticket. I've got my passport. And you feel expansive and you're in that energy. You're ready for your flight to experience this journey of the flight. And to go beyond your wildest dreams possible. This is the, the up level. So for our up level, to have that certainty. Right, so the equivalent of our passport, our ID and our ticket is our embodied identity, our personal boundaries, forgiveness. So forgiving any past triggers and traumas so we're not holding on to the frequency of them. The energetic charge is lost around them and taking energetic responsibility. And our Helix Method manifesting ritual will create this for you. And we're going to dive in deeper to this, this today. So we're creating a new reality by changing your identity to the consciousness of your future self and releasing any resistances that might be holding you back so you can bring yourself into alignment, into vibrational resonance with what we, you know, with what you desire. So before we do our energetic work together, there's three secrets for understanding and unlocking the secrets of reality creation. So you might want to write these ones down. The first secret is the illusion of self-sabotage. I invite you to consider there is no such thing as self-sabotaging beliefs. And what I mean here is I invite you to consider that all the beliefs you have are positive. They're positive intention to your survival, to keep you safe, to protect you, to enable you to have a specific experience. So they aren't sabotaging you. They have a benefit. Every belief has a benefit. Your subconscious is your friend. You hear people talk about the hidden benefits of limiting beliefs. It's got a payoff. It's serving you in some way. I invite you to think, okay, my subconscious is my friend. This belief has served its purpose. And I think understanding this actually helps release the beliefs that are no longer serving you. Does that make sense? And the thing is, you know, truly, it's not your fault if you've been blaming yourself for thinking, oh, I've got this belief or that belief or making yourself wrong because you've been getting so frustrated with self-sabotage, this is going to be a game changer for you in creating the reality that you desire to be able to maintain uh, up-leveling of money consciousness. You know, To be able to do that, we know that we need to take full energetic responsibility for what we've created within our current environment. And if we're labeling it as resistance or limiting belief, we can be in that rejecting it rather than accepting it. I have resistance. I've created it for a good reason. I'm trying to keep myself in the, in the right space. And here's the thing. If we don't fully own it, then we aren't going to be able to fully let it go. So you've likely got some beliefs there that show you where your identity needs to shift. You know, we spoke of our identity being our ID and our ticket for our first class trip to our dream destination. And these beliefs are no longer serving us. They are creating additional stop-offs along the way. So just making our journey longer. So it's really powerful when we are able to shift them and to be able to create, take on, you know, some new beliefs and take those ones for a spin. Welcome everybody who's just joining us. The second secret is flipping the script. 
This is so you can take full energetic responsibility. So I'm going to invite you to think of a current area that you want to improve and the reason you think the problem or the challenge exists. And to write it out, so to write it out, pop it in the comments so I can see it. This is really important. I want to be able to help you with this one. So write the problem, whatever it is, because the reason. So just as an example, it could be, I haven't got any clients because I haven't taken enough action. I don't have time for a partner because I'm so busy. I have too much to do and I haven't got the money to hire a VA because I haven't got the cash in the bank. Um, just thinking of some other examples for you. I can't take risks because I don't have a cushion of money to fall back on. I'm afraid and feel stressed because I haven't got savings. OK, so let's see what you've got. Pop them in the in the chat and in the in the comments. So it's the problem because the reason. Okay, I can see them coming in. This is awesome. I will circle back and read them all because um, they'll start coming in too quickly um, for me to be able to read. So I want to be able to respond to respond to you individually in relation to this. Okay, so and then you're on the replay. Pop them below, and then I will circle back and and help you with this with this next bit if you need it. And it just just depends on the, the, how you phrased your sentence, whether it kind of flips it, you know, easily, or if we just need to do a little bit of massaging so that it kind of makes sense to the brain. So I'm going to now invite you to take full energetic responsibility. So we're going to reverse this. So the problem becomes the reason. So you're going to add, you're going to flip it and then add, I want to, followed by the reason. So I'm going to give you some examples. So in the example, the problem with the reason I haven't got any clients because I haven't taken enough action becomes I'm not taking enough action to attract clients because I don't want to have any clients. We're taking full energetic responsibility. I don't have time for a partner because I'm so busy becomes I'm so busy because I don't want to have time for a partner. Full energetic responsibility. I have too much to do and I haven't got the money to hire a VA because I haven't got the cash in the bank becomes I haven't got the cash in the bank to hire a VA because I want to have too much to do. I can't take risks because I don't have the cushion of money to fall back on, but becomes I don't have the cushion of money to fall back on because I don't want to be able to take risks. Is this making sense? Anyone's brain hurting? <laughs> so pop your, type it out in the chat. Keep the sentence really simple. What I often see is when people are trying to put too much into the sentence, and then it kind of doesn't flip quite so easily. So I'm going to put some examples. I'll type them out in the in the comments. You can see Let, this one's a good one to do. So let's do these two. OK, so you're flipping the script. And you're adding. So the problem becomes the reason. And then you add, I want to. I just know that sometimes it's easier to see it written out. Let's pop that in the chat and in the comments for you. If, if you're stuck, just let me know in the comments and then I'll circle back afterwards to help you rewrite it. Because sometimes <laughs> I need to ask you a question to find out what you're what you're wanting to what you're wanting to create. OK, so how's that landing with everybody? Anyone gone? Oh, my God. <laughs> what am I doing? These can create quite a moment of cognitive dissonance. They really can. <laughs> so, oh my God, indeed. Oh yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is so powerful because it does invite you to take full energetic responsibility for what you're creating. And the reason why the cognitive dissonance can come up is like, but I, why? Why would I do that? <laughs> why would I do that to myself? 
This is really, really powerful. My son gave up smoking after I did this one with him. He, so he'd said to me, just to give you an example that here, he'd said, I've got such a bad cough because I smoke. So I got him to flip it. I smoke because I want to have a bad cough. And he just looked at me horrified, like, what do you mean? I was like, but you know it creates that. So you're doing it. But it created the awareness of full energetic responsibility for his results. <laughs> Icky. <laughs> how is this one landing? And everyone on the replay would love to know how this one is landing as well. So if you post in the in the comments, um, if you're having you know, needing a bit of massaging to get the sentence making sense, then uh, just tag me and then I'll circle back and help you um, phrase it so that it makes sense. OK, so we've been gathering some beliefs that might be no longer serving us and understanding how we're always, always manifesting and creating our reality and how by truly taking full energetic responsibility, we can really be empowered. So I'm going to, the third secret is honouring your personal boundaries. Holding space for yourself, your business and your clients. So I'm smiling because I can just see all the like light bulbs coming through, which is just so awesome. So awesome. I love it. Okay. So I want to dive into inviting you to hold space for yourself as a, as a personal boundary, showing yourself the respect that you, you would another, you know, honoring your time. This is something I continue to work on as well. And it, for me, it's such a big part of manifesting. So how are you honoring your personal boundaries? Do you honor your needs, your time? This is the third secret, honoring personal boundaries. And can you raise your standards and require more of yourself and your boundaries? Truly, as my business has grown, it's required more of myself and more, you know, being in alignment with my boundaries and my and having higher standards for myself. Your next level, it's it's going to require this. It's going to require more of you. And this is something that you know we dive deep into in the wealth portal, really uncovering your relationship with money, your identity, the different layers of consciousness, that beliefs, emotions, the energetic blockages, all the things, so that you can break through the money glass ceiling and then be able to hold hold the up level we're going to start uncovering some of the beliefs that are feeding into your identity and might, might be creating some of the contraction if you're feeling contraction right now if you're in expansion you're like i don't want the contraction to come yet so that we can let these let these go so let me know are you are you feeling up for doing some alignment and manifesting work together pop a yes in the in the comments and just to speak to this for a moment, the principle across all energy healing modalities is being intentional with your energy. So releasing that which is not serving you in terms of thoughts, emotions and beliefs, and then imprinting into your human Wi-Fi new patterns, new energetic imprints and beliefs that are going to support you. So let me know who here has done muscle testing. I know some of you have. If you haven't, let me know in the comments. I love it. It's just such a great way to find out what's going on in your energy field and in the iceberg of consciousness. And many energy modalities, you know, use muscle testing for this purpose. In the Helix method, we use our body as a dousing device to see which resistant thoughts or feelings or emotions are holding us back or holding our energy. So you might all, you know, might already be familiar with muscle testing. And there's different techniques uh, that you can use from applied kinesiology. We use the sway technique. This is my preferred technique because I find it the most accurate and it enables you to really, as and I'll guide you through this, to be able to go within and to connect with and bring forward to your awareness the beliefs and the emotions that are hidden in your consciousness and, and how your body's holding them. Your body's intelligence is going to reveal where that imprint is in your body. So You'll see what I mean as we start to dive into this. And when we release the thoughts and emotions and energy, we do this through intentionally speaking, our, you know, through using our breath, bringing our heart into coherence and, and how we think, you know, with rewiring statements. We let the end, we change the energy through through that. And then we create what we want to create by using positive affirmations and statements to imprint what we want to create into our consciousness intentionally. And to activate this in our human Wi-Fi, make sure we're aligned to those 
so that we can easily create in, in our area of life. And for me, alignment is having, true alignment is having alignment across the different levels of our consciousness. This is absolutely key. So our higher self, our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. We've got our brain and our heart in coherence. And when we're in this flow state, it creates this neurological synchronization between our heart and our brain. And it actually changes the structures and the associations in our brains and our brainwave patterns. And then that has an impact on our body and it lowers the adrenal and cortisol level. So our body starts to resolve the stress phase so that the body can then move into a healing phase. That all then creates changes on a cellular level as well. So there's loads going on through this simple process that we are we are doing. You're creating new neural pathways in your brain. You're creating new emotional and mental positive experiences. And the process of rewiring your brain is called neuroplasticity. And this is something we continue to do with throughout our life, which is why we need to take care of it. Because we can consciously rewire our brain or we can unconsciously do it. And beliefs can sneak in <laughs> if we're not taking care of it. So we can create new connections between events and information and then eliminate and transmute and change old connections and associations and just has a huge impact on how you feel and experience life and your vibrational attraction point now here's the thing when we decide we're going to go for a breakthrough we're like yep yeah, i'm going for it let's do it we immediately trigger our worthiness and our deservingness set points you know, so we need to be in alignment with deserving to receive more we need to be in alignment with our value, our worthiness to allowing ourselves to have, have more money. So we have set points in line with our identities around worthiness, deservingness to do with money, time, support, love, all the things. So to create long lasting change, you need to change your set point. And that's what we're going to start to, to do now. So I'm going to introduce you to this. So I'm going to give you the overview of the helix method manifesting rit ritual how to do the sway technique and then we'll dive in and do it together because i know there's some people that haven't done it so the helix method manifest manifesting ritual is connecting in with your higher self creating the consciousness of your the future you and activating the frequency of this living in the energy of the question and then taking the aligned action and as part of this, we're going to do some muscle testing so you can find out, you know, what's what's lurking in your consciousness that you might not be aware of. So I'm going to quickly speak um, through how you can do this. I'll just take a couple of minutes and then we'll do the alignment together. So to do the sway test, what you do is you stand up. And actually, if you can't stand, you can do it sitting down. But if you are physically able to stand, I invite you to stand so that you can you know, see how it feels for you. So stand with your feet hip width apart facing straight ahead of you, knees soft, hips soft, hands by your side, out of your pockets, and I invite you to look straight ahead of you. I'm just going to see how everyone's doing. And then to close your eyes, like you would going within for meditation. And then to test your sway, I just invite you to muscle test with something you know to be true. So just for a moment, just to take a nice deep breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And tell yourself, right, body, go forwards for a yes, backwards for a no. So you're instructing your subconscious, it will respond to you. And then when you're ready, I want you to say something you know to be true that is, you have no doubt. So use your name. My name is, so I'd say my name is Louisa Havers. And then wait and see what your energy does. Do you go forwards, backwards, side to side? You're going to get a yes or a no. And then say something that you know to be not true. So you might say, my name is Mickey Mouse. And again, your energy body is going to respond and give you a yes, no to the question. And as you do it, a forward sway, well, you may simply feel... Uh, a sensation in your chest kind of like a magnetic pull pulling you forward that's how I feel it or you might feel it in a different part of your body when I'm going backwards I feel like a magnetic pull between my shoulder blades between my and my back heart chakra so just notice just inviting you just to do a couple of baseline muscle testings here so to, perhaps you could say your age so say your true age so I'm 
49, go forwards. I'm 25. My body goes, you wish. No, you're not. And goes back. Okay, everybody got that? That's your baseline, okay. The reason for creating the baseline and being clear around just how it feels when you're not attached to what you're muscle testing, like I live in this street, I was born here, um, you know, uh, my mum's name is XYZ, my dad's name is XYZ, and then testing it with, you know, things that you know to be not true, is you build your confidence with, with the muscle testing. Because when you start to do the muscle testing with things that you don't consciously know, the ego might be saying, no, you don't believe that. You made that muscle testing happen, etc. So it's this is really helpful just to get everybody to kind of go, yeah, okay, this is this might feel weird <laughs> if you haven't done it before. What am I doing? But you'll have that sense of, okay, I know what it feels like when I'm not attached to what I'm muscle testing. And then we're going to go into some things you might feel be attached, <laughs> attached to. If you ever get a kind of um feel like you're stuck and you're not getting a sway, I'm just going to invite you just to do a thymus test um, thump here. So a thymus thump, just tapping it here, just breathing in for four, breathing out for four at a nice gentle pace. And that just sort of aligns your energies. And then the key thing is, is just telling your subconscious, I'm going forwards for a yes and backwards for a no. Remember, your subconscious is always listening. All righty. So... So the steps of our framework that we're going to do together in a minute will connect with your higher self through intention and breath work. Then we're going to do some muscle testing to find out what's going on in your field. Have you got resistance to the money coming coming that you're calling in? We're going to be listening to your body's intelligence as we're asking those questions to see what's going on, what you notice in your field. Then we're going to be transmuting and releasing through using a through our intention and breath work and a releasing statement. So I'm changing this energy, i transmuting this belief, I release this and transmute this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. And I've got a little handout that I'm going to give you in a second. So this is all written out for you. And then creating quantum coherence. This is where we're imprinting what we want to receive. So I allow this experience in my life. I allow this thought, this belief. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness and beyond. And how I like to do it is saying it once out loud. So we're declaring it to our energy field and then twice internally. So we can really focus on the breath is really, really powerful. So when we're doing this together, I'll say it out loud all the times so that you can kind of focus within and and um, be guided by me by me as I'm uh, doing this. So but I'll let you know when to move into focusing and saying it internally. One of my favorite ways as we're doing this is to when we're creating the quantum coherence is as you're doing this, because the breath work will have started to activate your energetic field and your nervous system. So you may start to feel some tingling sensations in your body and a beautiful way to really allow these sensations. If you think about all the meridians running through your um, your, your body is to hold up your arms in the sky and this opening of your, your body, it really allows you to be in that receiving position, expands your chest, everything's everything's open. So if you like, you're welcome to play with this and just to see how this feels when we do this. So when we're doing the quantum coherence piece and just to allow yourself to focus on the breath and the intention with the words and just see what you notice, how your body's responding to the breath the intention and the work that we're doing together. And as we're doing the quantum coherence piece, I'm going to, I'll invite you to close your eyes and to visualize what you're calling in so that we did this yesterday where I invited you to know how, what would you see in your reality when the money's in? in your, would it be in your bank account? Would it be in a Stripe payment? It'd be like, yes, here it is. Exciting, so exciting. So I'm going to invite you to bring that vision into your mind's eye when we do this piece. The key thing as we're doing this is, is the breath work. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four, as you're just tuning into the feeling of love. And this is what will really activate those tingling sensations as you follow the rhythm of breath, breath and your intention with the um, alignment statements. Alrighty, so that's the framework that we're following. And you can use it to 
connect with your higher self to change your thoughts, emotions and beliefs. You transform your electromagnetic waves. This is how you're working intentionally with the law of attraction and universal law. So you can manifest what you desire and, and change your vibrational frequency. So this is a you know vibrational tune up so that you can bring yourself into resonance with living at your highest potential. Alrighty, so I have, um, as I said, a guide sheet for you. So I'm just going to share this in the chat. So this is what I'm taking you through now. And we'll be doing some specific things with this for you. There's some examples there. So I've just popped it in the chat in the Facebook group and in the um, chat in the Zoom room. Okay, so hopefully everyone can see that. Okay, so are you ready? Who is ready to start diving into this? We're going to be expanding your capacity to hold more money. So just remind me, what are you manifesting? So if we say your intention, just if you remember, I've just now received, so we're saying it as if it's already happened. I've just now received 10K. I've just now received 20K. Pop it in the comments to remind me what you're, what you're calling in. Fabulous. I've just now received X, Y, Z. Got some 7Ks, 19Ks, 2Ks, lots of Ks. Awesome. 50K. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. 10K. Okay, this is so exciting. Right. So I'm going to invite you now just to do a bit of a journal brain dump and a heart dump on the hesitations and the resistances and all the feelings that may have been popping up about manifesting this. So we're just going to purge. <laughs> we're going to get it out. So just in your journal, in your notepad, and you can be welcome to use the, the comments to, to, to share as well. Any stories that you know that you've been telling yourself since you set this goal? Any thoughts that have been popping into your head that you're like, why is that there? What has your subconscious mind started kicking up to the surface for you? I just want you to write out all the thoughts and the feelings about the situation. Just write it out. This is just so you've got clarity. We're just bringing it to awareness. We're not judging it. We're just like, okay, this is interesting. Oh, I know that thought's popped in. Yes. Okay, this is great. Do share them in the comments because others will go, oh, yeah, I've had that one too. Have you thought things like, I'm going to have to be so busy to make this happen? I'll have to work harder. It never works. I never manifest. <laughs> Everyone else does. Everyone else is going to manifest their money this week, but I won't. It's always harder for me. It feels impossible. Am I being unrealistic? Pop in the, in the comments what's coming through. We've got lots of comments coming in in the chat. So if you're on Facebook, share the thoughts that are coming through. Does it feel impossible? Something's blocking you, but you can't figure out what it is. Just take a moment just to write it all down. Anyway, if you're like, oh, I'll make it happen. I'm going to have to push through to make it happen. Or what will so-and-so think if I do this? Or my mum's going to judge me. Or I'm afraid of being judged. I'm afraid of being overwhelmed. Or this can be a big one, especially if you have an online business. I'm going to have to be more visible. I don't want to be. I'm afraid to be seen. Yeah, does anyone really want what I've got to offer? So many. So we're going to get all these, all these thoughts out. Yeah, will it work for me? Remember, this is just a thought. Don't believe your thoughts. They're being triggered because your nervous system is activated as you're stepping forwards through the resistance. Coming, saying, I'm going to go through that contraction. I want to come out the other side into the expansion. And it is when we're in the moment of the, the, the breakthrough, we're in the breakthrough. This is where we're feeling the resistance follow the resistance it's showing you the right way we don't want to contract back so this is bubbling up for you like will this work for me just relax you're learning the art of something new subconscious is just bringing out the big guns because you're about to start to change your vibrational attraction point to change your energy and you'll change your life 
this is this is science and this is why we want to bring our higher self and our conscious mind and our subconscious into alignment so that we have the higher self leading leading the way my higher self has told me i'm writing a book this week and i was like how on earth am i going to write a book i'm leading a masterclass and then she showed me and i was like oh it's already done literally it is already done so i was like marvelous <laughs> you've got to listen to these things because my conscious mind was having a field day with trying to push that one out so if you have any questions at all as we're doing this do lean in lean in ask ask questions so that we can get you know i can support you and if the muscle testing feels clunky or isn't working again, let me know so that, you know, because there's some things, more things we can do to line up to align your energy so you can have more flow with it. OK, so writing out all your thoughts and stories, you catch yourself running, any emotions that are bubbling up. Notice how you feel as you look at look at that bit of a purge on the on the page or in the in the comments. And as you look at that, have you got like two or three beliefs or emotions that you recognize have been holding you back. Again, pop them in the chat. Let us know, do you know what? I realize that underneath this noise and talk, self-talk, I'm there's a part of me feeling anxious or I'm feeling scared or I believe X, Y, and Z. Again, pop it in the chat. yeah there's so much here okay this is awesome and so helpful thank you so much for sharing because i know this is going to really resonate for, for for everybody as they see what's coming through of the in the comments and in the in the chat and we'll put the zoom chat as well underneath the facebook uh group comments you can see because there's some really helpful conversation going on in in here as well so, oh, this is, these are good catches. Okay, so we're going to clear the root of these uh, in, in, a, in a minute. So I'm just going to invite you to pause on all the contraction and all the resistance and all the beliefs that we recognize. Go, right, this lot can go and do one. This is what's been holding me back. And just to take a moment to go, okay, once I've dealt with that, what is it that I want to create? What would I like to think and feel about manifesting this 20K, 70K, 10K, 30K, 2K? We've had lots of different amounts of money. How would it feel? What do you want it to feel like? The easier it gets, the easier it gets. It's safe for me to allow this in. I manifest whatever amount of money I like. Manifesting money is easy. And I invite you to think, so I'm just going to share these questions so you can think about what feelings come to mind and can you feel them in your body? What does consistent large sums of money feel like in your body? What does it feel like in your body to have money always there? And more money's always coming. There is more money always coming. What does it feel like to always have five clients every month, 15 clients every month, 20 clients every month? You know, the amount of clients is going to be different for people's different business models and all the things. Your ideal amount of new clients coming in that you get to serve and support and contribute to their lives in however your service and or your product does that. How, how do you want to feel when this money's in? And how does a body know what it feels like to feel that that 70K has already come in or whatever the amount is? So I'm going to invite you to think of and to feel three emotions that you can bring in. So it might be, do you know what this feels like? I feel enthusiastic. I feel energized. I feel excited. It could be I feel relieved. I feel free. I feel happy. I feel joy, gratitude. 
happiness. And you can write out, I know what it feels like to receive 70K this month, 70K this week, 100K this week, 2K this week, whatever the amount is. And then your three feelings, I feel empowered, I feel excited, I feel grateful, or I feel relieved, I feel so happy, I feel free. Notice how your body's speaking to you as you're allowing yourself to step into this feeling of what this will feel like, so your body knows what it feels like. So when we create our quantum coherence bit, we're going to be really activating this sentence of I've just now received the amount of money and this feels expansive or I feel expansive, happy and free, really allowing yourself to feel those feelings. And I allow this into all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. I'm going to just give you a moment just to write this out and then I'm going to guide you through the, the techniques as we're going to do the manifesting together all righty this is so exciting anyway you're judging yourself for the number you've chosen i invite you to let that go know that you can always set another number what if so someone's saying this number feels not feels not enough it's just a thought it's not enough. Truly, if 10K came in, how exciting would that be if you did another 10K straight after that? But it doesn't stop because you've manifested it. <laughs> you can go, you can surpass it. Does that make sense? So just notice where you're judging yourself. For, okay, hang on a second. Have I just gone too low? Because I'm that's resistance. Yeah, it'd be totally fine. 10K would be lovely. And then you can surpass it. So that's another way, isn't it, of how we can cap ourselves to go, I'm, make, I'm making ourselves wrong. What if the 10K came in and then you're like, and more, 10K, another 10K comes in. Because equally, if you go, too high you can kind of trigger too much resistance <laughs> in the sense of like well I just simply don't believe it it's going to have to take miracles and magic magic and all the things so it's great to be able to go yep yeah, okay we're going to just 10k woohoo I'm going to celebrate that one right now I'm going to do another 10k I'm going to celebrate that one yay that makes sense they haven't got their their amounts that are feeling aligned with calling in might feel a little bit stretchy but even if you hit like 80% of it, how exciting would that be? Knowing that there's always more money coming. There's always more money coming. Alrighty, so we're going to start with releasing some resistance first. Resistance, and then um, we're going to guide you through um, releasing the roots of these thoughts and emotions. So... Just to speak to this for a moment, just to, I'm going to get you to muscle test on the energetic flow state that you're in. So in energy psychology, there's three flows of energy. Think of reversals, resistance and, re and receptive or the flow state. And just to give these concepts to you. So when we're muscle testing, you, you have a sense of them. So with energy reversals, this, just think of that as the energy is going. You're going in the wrong direction energetically. When you have an energy reversal, you can become stuck or frozen in time or in a particular way of being. And it's just the, the reverse of the, the flow going in the wrong direction. It's an, it's a, energetically, it's a default set point. We're moving away from what we want. So this can be, you may recognize this, where you feel like you're just putting more and more time and energy into changing something. And you're like, well, it just feels like it's getting harder and harder. Recognizing repeating patterns or feeling trapped or feel like you're in a holding pattern. And, a loop of relentless limiting beliefs and behaviors. You just kind of feel like, oh my God, what's going on? Likely got some reversals going on there. And then as you reversals can come from past experiences, typically where we've had like a shock or trauma and we didn't have a coping strategy. 
and the imprint is there in our subconscious, in our energy field. And so any time we have another circumstance that's connected energetically to this, even if consciously it doesn't make sense, subconsciously there's this energetic loop that's re-triggered and then we feel them, we feel the trigger and we can go into a contraction. And then we have resistance and this can feel like pushing treacle up a hill, really sticky. <laughs> You're going in the right direction, be like, oh my God, it's going so slowly. And it can also feel like this sort of push-pull sensation. This is where you can have dual beliefs going on. Like I deserve to receive 70K. I'm undeserving of receiving 70K. You can believe both those things on different levels of your consciousness. And this creates a contraction. So our resistance is created through our identity and resistant thoughts and beliefs and emotions and past experience, all the things, current experiences of reality. And it just creates that feedback loop. So what we want to do is change these reversals and resistances into the flow state so that we've got more of our energy field into expansion and into flow. Because when we're in that coherence state and we have more of our energetic being in flow, we've got more energy to manifest and we do truly manifest more quickly. This is what we're up to with the Helix method. So I'm very, very excited to, to dive into the, to this. Okay, so that explains. So remember energy reversal, energetic resistance and flow or receptive state. So I'm going to invite you now to connect and activate that connection with your higher self. So just let's just take a moment to do our sacred invocation of connecting in with our higher self. So I'm just going to invite you just to take a nice couple of deep breaths, breathing in grace and love and breathing out all energy that no longer serves. And we're going to create an intention of connection through our breath and we're going to increase our life force energy through our breath. So I'm just inviting you to Notice your soul star chakra about 18 inches above your head. And I'm inviting you to breathe in for four, hold for four, and then to breathe out for eight. And just to do this three times at your own pace, because everyone's rhythm is slightly different. And then when you're ready, just sharing this invocation, you can follow along internally or just listen to my words. I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious conscious and higher self. So they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Notice how you're feeling in your body with this connection. And then I'm going to invite you from this energetic space to just take a moment to stand up and to muscle test on these two phrases. The first one, I have got resistance to receiving the amount of money you want to call in this week. So I have got resistance to receiving 20,000 this week, 70,000, whatever your amount is. Just notice if you get a yes or a no. So I have got resistance to receiving X, Y, Z this week. Do you go forwards, backwards? Do you stay still? Do you go round and round? Just notice what you notice. And then I want you to muscle test and say, I have got an energy reversal preventing me from receiving 20,000, 70,000, whatever your amount is this week. So I have got an energy reversal preventing me from receiving X, Y, Z. Just noticing whether you're going forwards or backwards. And as you're asking this question, I'm just inviting you to become aware of your energy field. Do you notice any sensations in your body? Any memories come to mind? Any pressure? Do you get hot or cold? Does your tummy start gurgling? Or are you yawning already? 
Just listen to your body's intelligence. That will be showing you where this resistance and reversed energy will be. Now, you don't always feel it in the body. But it's great practice just to like do this body scan as you're asking questions so that you can really master the art of listening to your body. Notice what you notice. All righty. So I'm going to just guide you through. Let's release this resistance and reversed energy. So I'm going to say the sentence, I release this resistance and energy reversal to receiving. I'll use the example 20,000, but just change the number to whatever it is that you are wanting to call in. OK, so we're going to do this once out loud and then twice internally. And as we do this, again, I'm really inviting you We'll go slowly so you can pay attention to your body. And if, as you're saying this, anything changes in your energy field, do you suddenly start yawning? Do you suddenly start feeling a sensation? Just be aware and bring your awareness to whatever the body's doing is know that that's where the energy, energetic pattern is being held and just observe it leaving your body. That makes sense. OK, so taking a, a nice deep breath, so breathing in for four and then breathing out for four. I really invite you to follow that rhythm, breathing in for four, breathing out for four, and then to say out loud, I release this resistance and energy reversal to receiving £20,000 this week. I release this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four. So breathing out, just let it go. Breathing out for four. Notice how your body's responding. Okay, I'm now going to invite you to carry on with that breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. And to say this twice internally, I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. I release this resistance and this energy reversal to receiving 20,000 this week. I release this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. Notice how your body's responding. Anything changing? Does it feel the same? How is your body speaking to you? Silently saying, through your intention, Energy follows intention, so be intentional with this sentence. I release this resistance and this energy reversal to receiving 20,000 this week. I release and transmute this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And just notice what you notice and how you feel as you're in this energetic space. And then you can validate that this is gone by muscle testing. So saying, I have released this resistance and this reversed energy, this energy reversal. And the validation piece is just for your conscious mind. So it's like, yeah, you've done it. Done. You'll most likely get a yes. If for any reason you got a no, it's just indicating there's more work to do. We'll keep moving forward. This next piece will most likely shift it. So when you think about the thoughts and the feelings that you had when we were doing that purge on your journaling around what might be preventing you from calling in the 20K or the 70K, whatever your amount is, what was the biggest thought, belief or motion that you you consider when you look at the list you created? Pop it in the chat. And some of these thoughts and feelings are going to have a root in, in feeling unworthy or undeserving. So we're going to focus our muscle testing and then the releasing around 
any way you're feeling unworthy or undeserving. So we're going to do the root of this, the upper limit to feeling worthy or feeling deserving. And then I'm going to invite you to, to go deeper after our call using the worksheet on those beliefs that you have found. Okay. So we we create with our with our thoughts. So we want to remember that thoughts and beliefs are different. Beliefs we've believed the thoughts. <laughs> if that makes sense, thoughts if they're not helpful, we can choose to go. I'm not going to believe that one. It might have already got embedded, so we want to clear it out. Okay. So this is awesome. OK, so these ones that you're typing in, I'm going to invite you to specifically muscle test on these ones after after our time together so that you can go deeper. I want us to collectively do these three because these are the will be underpinning a bunch of the beliefs and the emotions that you are you're holding in relation to this. So I'm going to invite you to muscle test on these three phrases. I am unworthy of receiving this amount of money. So this 20,000. I'm undeserving of receiving this 20,000, whatever the amount of money is. I'm unsafe to trust myself to create and receive this 20,000. So I'm going to put, I'm using 20,000 just as, a, as an example. Please change the number to the amount that you're, you're calling in. So I'm going to just pop these in the chat for you. You've got the phrases there. So can you muscle test on those ones? Just so that you're bringing it into your awareness. And again, as you're doing the muscle testing, remember body scan so you just notice where you may be holding this energetically, this energetic imprint, this pattern in your field. Does anything change or not? It might not change as you're doing it, but now it feels completely normal. <laughs> or you might be like, that was weird. I started doing something different. So typically swaying forwards is a yes, swaying back is a no. So I'm un unworthy of receiving 20,000. Okay, so what we're going to do this. Okay, so you might have got a yes to all three. The third sentence was, I'm unsafe to trust myself to create and receive this 20,000. Hopefully you can see it in the comments. I've just popped it in the comments as well for you. Yeah. And we're doing this at a very high level because there are nuances around how you say these things. Um, and so even if you got you think you're all good, let's do this together anyway, because if you change the language and perhaps you'd say it in a slightly different way, that would resonate more with your subconscious. OK, so. Let's dive in. OK, so I'm going to guide you through this. So I'm going to wrap it all up in, into a ball and activate the clearing from my end. So just type a yes in the comments if you're ready to clear all the resistance and you're giving me permission to energetically wrap it up in a ball and, and tune in. And just send me a telepathic yes. Thank you. OK, so I'm going to guide you through. So inviting you to just to start to bring your heart into coherence again. So breathing into four. In for four, breathing out for four. Just follow that pattern, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And just to bring your attention to your soul star chakra, that beautiful blue pearl about 18 inches above your head, and just invite you to visualize for a moment light white, green light coming down from your beautiful blue pearl, your soul star chakra. Coming down through that spiritual cord of connection, it's just beautifully washing over you, over your whole body, your crown, your shoulders, and filling up your whole body and your aura with light white green light. And then just to repeat this, statement this intention that you're letting this the root of this go i'm going to repeat this after me saying this out loud so you can hear what this sounds like with your voice 
anything and everything that is preventing me from believing and feeling that I can manifest this 20,000. Like feeling unworthy, undeserving, unsafe to trust myself. I'm willing to transmute, uncreate, delete this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. I'm just inviting you to follow that rhythm, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Notice how your body is responding, so just doing a quick body scan. And then silently repeating this so that you can focus on your breath and just set the intention that every time you breathe out, you're just letting go of the energy that no longer serves you. I'll say this out loud so you can follow along internally. So anything and everything that is preventing me from believing and feeling that I can manifest this 20,000, like feeling unworthy, undeserving, unsafe to trust myself. I'm willing to transmute, uncreate, delete this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energy that no longer serves. Just one more time internally, again, just noticing your body, any sensations that you're becoming aware of, anything and everything that is preventing me from believing, feeling that I can manifest this 20,000, like feeling unworthy, undeserving, unsafe to trust myself. I'm willing to transmute, uncreate, delete this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just taking a moment to be in the awareness of how this energetic shift feels in your body anywhere you may have felt any lumps pressures heat or coldness is it still there is it moving through just breathe in for four out for four if you're aware that it's still there knowing that that is the energy pattern of what you've just released moving through your body. How's everybody feeling when you're ready? Let's come back together just to do a little check-in before we move on to creating that quantum coherence and imprinting what we want to receive. How are you feeling? Any strange sensations, good sensations, insights, ahas? Lighter, big ahas, fabulous, I love it. All righty. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to now imprint that beautiful manifesting phrase that you created earlier on. I have just now received the 20,000 or whatever it is. And those three emotions, I feel so happy, I feel worthy, I do feel deserving, I feel relief, I feel all the things, however you feel. So just bring that phrase, how you've written it, to your awareness now. I love it. My phone is already blowing up the clients. Yes. 
So I've just now received 20,000. I feel so, I'm going to use the language for so happy, worthy, deserving, and joyful. Change the phrase so that it's resonant with what you want to imprint. I choose this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Okay, so I'm going to guide you, guide you through this. Just taking a nice deep breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. We're going to say this out loud and twice internally. I'm just going to ask you to take a moment to become aware of your heart chakra. And before we do the invocation, just to allow your heart chakra to fill up with love. Set the intention, I'm filling up my heart chakra with more and more love. My heart chakra is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Your heart chakra is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. And I invite you, if you choose to do so, you can raise your arms in a V position just to see what that feels like. Notice if you're getting any tingling as you continue with the breath. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then to declare out loud, I have just now received 20,000. I feel so happy, worthy, deserving, free. I choose this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Feel your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. And take a moment to bring into your mind's eye the image of that manifested scene, how you know that that money is in your bank account. And just to connect with that image. And what the money is for. Where is that money going, is it? Going to create an extension. What's it doing? Is it for an investment in your business? For children? What's it for? Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then I invite you to say this internally so you can really focus on the internal voice in your head as you say this. I've just now received 20,000. I feel so happy, worthy, deserving, joyful, free. I choose this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Feeling your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. I have just now received 20,000. I feel so happy, worthy, deserving, free. I choose this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love and breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And when you're ready, you can slowly bring your arms down. You may notice that they're feeling tingly or you might be aware of the energy field around your hands just allow yourself to be in the awareness of your energetic being as you're breathing in for four breathing out for four feeling your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter bigger and brighter bigger and brighter and just for one final moment connecting in with that image in your mind's eye of how you know that this is manifested you see the money in your bank account or in your Stripe account, however you receive that in your reality, you know that the money is there. And take a moment to feel the gratitude, what that money is going to create for you. And then whenever you're ready, just to take a moment to come back 
And whilst we're in this energy, I'm just going to invite you to keep that rhythm of breathing in for four. And breathing out for four. So you're keeping your heart in coherence. I'm going to invite you to live in the energy of the question. So this is where you ask this question. You're not trying to consciously answer it. You ask it and imagine that you've written this on a post-it note and handed it to the universe to take care of. So think of the energy you're asking this question in is like you're in awe and wonder. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Breathing in for four, breathing out for four, becoming aware of that blue pearl, your connection to your higher self that's got the wisdom, the guidance for you. Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And just invite you just to be in this moment. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. You're going to really feel that connection. And just notice any ideas coming to you. And don't worry if they're not in this now moment. Know that you've activated this. You get, the bit that you get to do is to take aligned action. So pay attention to any ideas and wisdom and synchronicities that come to you through the day. This is the bit that you get to take action on. And then I'm also going to invite you to consider what action can you take that will make this manifestation inevitable? Did you reach out to five people yesterday and ask them how you can help them? Invite them to work with you. Can you reach out to five more people today? People who you haven't spoken to in a while, just see how they are. Taking a moment just to write any thoughts and ideas that are coming to you. And I invite you tonight to continue on manifesting. So as you're going to sleep, to imprint this onto your subconscious mind. As you're falling asleep, ask this question. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Just repeating it 10 times as you're falling asleep. And then tomorrow morning, I really encourage you to do this every day this week at the same time so that you're building that habit, just to take a few moments. You can do this as you wake up in the morning whilst you're in bed. Connect with your manifested scene. Just take a few moments to see that £20,000 check or the bank statement. See the money in your bank account. And affirm to yourself, I've just now received 20,000. I feel amazing. I feel so excited. Allow yourself to share all the feelings. Say them out loud. I feel relieved. I feel happy. I feel joy. It's all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Beautiful. And I invite you tonight or tomorrow to use the worksheet that I've shared with the method laid out, the Helix method laid out for you to release and transmute just two or three beliefs or emotions that you've uncovered. And then to use the, let us know in the Facebook group, do hashtag daily win when you've done it, or we'll pop your name into the draw. So you can have more than one entry into the draw. Remember, using the breath of the breathing in for four and breathing out for four in the Helix Method, this is what helps you to shift the energy. The statements you're saying speak to your intention. So you're creating with your words and the energy behind the words. Abracadabra, I create as I speak. So really feel into the sacredness of this. You speak, so you create. And with the body scanning, so noticing if there's any energy held in a certain way, for example, if you feel like there's a 
a ball in your stomach. Use that insight and connect it with the energy pattern that you're working on. So it might be, I'm ready to release and transmute this ball of pain in my stomach to do with feeling unworthy. And release this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. You're bringing to your awareness how the energetic pattern is held within your body. So as you notice how your body speaks to you, and you may get hot, you might get cold, you might fart, you might burp, you might ting get the tingles, you might feel a weight or a pressure in different parts of your body. All of this is completely normal. You don't have to count to four. If you know the breath length, just it's just keeping that rhythm of the breath. Once you've got the rhythm going, you're not having to count to four because the, the rhythm's there, if that makes sense. Just love doing this in a, a group. And I know if you love doing this together and feel the power of coming together collectively, then you will love the Wealth Portal because we do this live together three times a month. We have a, a week a, a week each month for integration and, and I take you through specific things to focus on in our group collective energy and it's just super powerful and you get such huge insights as well from each other's work and you know deeper insights each time we come together so and the thing to know is as you clear your energy field of stagnation and the resistance and the reversed energies your frequency rate raises you become a clearer channel for your higher self you can't become a clearer channel for your soul you can hear the soft whisper of your soul more loudly so so exciting so just as a reminder, use hashtag daily win to share your insights and wins as they come in. Let us know. Use hashtag daily win when you've released two or three beliefs or emotions. Don't need to do more. Just do two or three today and tomorrow. See how it is doing it on your own. Any questions that bubble up from doing that, please post them in the groups. I can help you move forward. And a huge thank you to everyone who's been sharing screenshots and tagging us and inviting their business buddies to come and join us. I truly, truly appreciate you. Please do drink lots of water after this, get plenty of rest because there's a lot of energy moving about and integrating. And before we wrap up, I would love to know what is your takeaway from today? So this is so that you can anchor it in and embody it. Pop it in the comments. And I'm also going to invite you to notice how expansive and aligned your intention you're feeling right now on a scale of one to 10. So on a scale of one to 10, where are you feeling in alignment with your Feeling expansion 10 yes 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 so just take a moment to become aware and write in your comments your biggest takeaway because this embeds it for your own learning and as you do this then your name is being entered into our our draw as well so that we can draw a number for your the winners the winner okay so we have covered the principles of reality creation and three secrets to Unlocking reality creation, the illusion of self-sabotage, flipping the script so you can take full energetic responsibility, honoring personal boundaries by having space for taking care of energy alignment and vibration. This is just absolutely key for, for, for you, for your business, for your clients. We've used the Helix method to unlock the subconscious and to create the consciousness of your future self and to start to change the channel that we're vibrating on. And the aligned action to go deeper is to take a moment today or tomorrow to change two or three emotions or beliefs that you found from your journaling using our process and hashtag daily win when you've done it and we'll pop your name into the, into the prize draws. Oh, I'm loving these takeaways. This is so exciting. OK, so I'm going to just see who is the winner of Heal Time in the Akashic Records. Yes, this is so exciting. Okay, fantastic. All right, where are we? De -de -de. Okay, love it. Yes, making it a habit. Making the Helix Method a habit. That's music to my ears. Okay, I've got to do counting. <laughs> where are we? De -de -de. Okay, the winner da, 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 of Heal Time in the Akashic Records portal, which is our two-hour timeless portal where we dived into 
healing your relationship with time, which is so important as we um, evolve. Um, it's so linked with our relationship with money. And when we heal our relationship with money, anything that we haven't kind of dealt with, we then go and project onto time as you know the money starts to increase. So this is a, a, a huge one. So I'm very, very excited. So the winner of this is Janie Waring. Janie, congratulations, lovely. I was so excited for you. You are our winner. The team will be in touch and get that over to you. Congratulations, lovely. And a huge thank you to everybody for taking part today. We have more prizes to... Oh, I'm so excited I could cry. Oh, congratulations, lovely. We've got more prizes to be won tomorrow. Um, so thank you, everybody, for being really engaged, taking part, for all your love and contribution to each other. I truly, truly appreciate it. Cannot wait for our masterclass tomorrow where we're going to be channeling higher realms of consciousness for your money breakthrough and you'll be receiving an Akashic Record activation. And I've got a big reveal and an invitation for you as well. So you do want to be there, be there live. And a big shout out to everybody who is on the on the replay as well. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Until then, sending you all so much love. Lots, lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.